how to improve pregnancy rates if you have been diagnosed with hydrosolpins. What is hydrosolpins? It occurs when a fallopian tube becomes blocked near its end and fills with clear fluid due to past infection or inflammation, such as from previous pelvic inflammatory disease or endometriosis. The affected tube becomes swollen and distended, and if both tubes are involved, fertility is significantly compromised. How does hydrosalpinx affect fertility? The fluid inside a hydrosalpinx is thought to have a toxic effect on embryos. Whether a woman is trying to conceive naturally or through IVF, the presence of this fluid can interfere with embryo implantation. So what is better, salpingectomy or clipping of tubes? There are two primary treatment options for hydrosalpinx, which is done laparoscopically. Tubal occlusion. This technique involves blocking the tube to prevent the hydrosalpinx fluid from spilling into the uterus. And salpingectomy is the surgical removal of the affected salopian tube. Definitely salpingectomy is better than occlusion. Studies have repeatedly found that performing a salpingectomy before IVF not only improves the conditions within the uterus, but has been associated with up to 50% improvement in clinical pregnancy rates, compared to leaving the tube in place or merely clipping it. So if you or a loved one is dealing with hydrosalpings, discussing these options with your fertility specialist is essential. It is important to operate and get these tubes out before the embryos are inserted.